Okay, what's up people? This is Larry, aka Chen Wonder, and I am about to show you guys an interesting glitch that I came up with in the new Serato. It's not only the new Serato that just came out, 197, it also was present in 196. It has to do with Apple Music and using Serato. Now, I know the two don't really go well together, but I do use Apple Music. Uh, to make playlists on the go, and then I later on uh, go in and purchase songs that I can use in Serato. So this is the glitch that I came up with, right? Um, so as you can see, this is my, one of my playlists, and most of the songs here are purchased, so I can play them. Now, as you can see, I added a couple songs uh, today, just on the fly, on my iPhone. Um, I added these in Apple Music, and one of them I actually want to purchase so I could play it in my playlist on Serato. Um, so this is the song right here uh, by Lava Mind. So I am going to go ahead and purchase the song. Okay, we're going to the iTunes store to find that same song, and here it is. Okay, it's downloading right now. Great, so looks like it's downloaded. Let me go back and find the song. There it is, and as you can see, the kind has changed from Apple Music to now purchased. Great. Should be all in well, and it looks like I could play it in Serato. So I'm going to go ahead and close out iTunes, and I'm going to open up Serato DJ. So now, everything should be good. That song is an official iTunes purchased track, and I should be able to play it, no problem. And as you will see, I will be able to play it. But once I play it, the tags get messed up. Let me show you what happens as soon as my list loads up. And this is an ongoing issue no matter what track it is that I purchase. And this only happens when I've already added that song via Apple Music. Now that really shouldn't matter because whether I open it on Apple Music first or if I just go ahead and purchase it, it shouldn't matter because the end result is the same purchased file so let's look for it here. Oh, I just saw it. Okay, here it is. Great. Looks like a brand new song that I haven't played yet. Let's play it. Great. Now look what happens. As soon as I played it, the artist disappeared, the album disappeared, and the song name changed itself and put a number in front of it. So, yeah. Not too sure what that's about. It happens every time. Um, don't know if you guys have any ideas on what it is. I thought maybe by downloading the latest version of Serato that issue would have been addressed, but clearly it hasn't. 